one of only a handful of Australians who know what dog sled racing is, let alone one that competed in Alaska. Christian has spent the last six years between the hemispheres. He works for the winter in Australia, then travels to Canada or Alaska to train dogs and compete. One minute, one minute for Christian Turner. Five, four, three, two, one, go! There goes Christian Turner from Australia, pit number 73, headed for normal Alaska. So we're here with Andy at the restart of the, the Iditarod. Um, you've got some new roles. You've kind of stepped into some roles for the Iditarod. Talk about that. Well, I, I ran this race in 2007, and for the last few years, I've been hanging out, going to Nome, playing basketball, going to the restart, uh, helping out Pete Kaiser, and I'm buddies with Pete and Richie, obviously. Um, and I figured, you know, instead of just hanging out and going to Nome just to party and play basketball and be at the trail as a spectator, why not? get a real role and try to help out because I I've always loved this race and I love dog mushing so I thought I should become part of the organization and and do something real so, so you, what, what has just happened well uh, the guy who's always done the restart announcing retired this past year and somebody told Andy Baker that I do the restart or I do the, the start in Bethel for the Cusco and so they signed me up called me up and said you're the restart announcer I said all right I guess I am and then at the same time, a couple mushers on the board of directors were looking for more race judges, and they suggested I be a race judge also. So this is my first year being a race official. Now, how does the race judge work? Where are you going to be? Um, I'm going to Unicleet uh, late this week. Um, basically what happens is Mark Norman's the race marshal, and he sends out a team of race judges to be in the checkpoints, monitoring things, watching the mushers, watching for rule violations, and then you basically report back to Mark, he's the boss. What are you seeing? You know, making sure everyone's behaving themselves, everything's going how it's supposed to go, making sure the checkpoints are running smoothly. It's a multi-purpose job. Uh, it's not just to, like, watch for cheaters. There's a lot of things that are involved with it, so. Well, exciting. Very uh, exciting. Very cool to be a part of the race that yes. you ran. Yes, yes. And I, you know, I, uh, a lot of people who, like, my dad was a race official at one point. He was on the board of directors. So I'd like to get involved in some way. I don't know how long I'll do it, but it's worth checking out. And, you know, to keep mushing going, you got to have people get involved. You know, there's a lot of older people involved in the organization, and they want some, some new blood people that are going to be doing the things that other people have been doing for decades now. So right, I'm well, looking forward to exciting. it. And, yep. You know, uh, for those of us that watched you, smaller and then yeah. ran all your races and now then announcing and this is kind of exciting yep. for all of us. It's a very exciting. It's exciting to be in Fairbanks. I, I don't come up here that often but this is a interesting thing. It was nice to get off the plane here and see all the snow. Anchorage is totally brown so it's right. it's still winter in part of Alaska at least. So, yeah. <laughs> all right well congratulations. We'll talk Thanks to you John. Later. Appreciate it. Yeah.